Welcome back. Hi, it's Dr. Judy with Dr. Judy Online, bringing you back to our tutorials on Write Your Book This Year. Thanks for joining us. We are now at week 11. Now, the book, Write Your Book This Year, is available at Amazon. And at the back of the book, we have a 20-week guide. So these tutorials are designed for you to use along with your book or without the book to write your book this year. I believe that you have a book inside of you. And as I said before, that I've read where 81% of people want to actually write a book and only 1% of the people actually get around to writing it. Welcome to the 1% Club, because if you're in week 11, you have a solid manuscript. Now, let's get to week 11, friends. Week 11, confirm your book title. Now, your working title that we established early on has probably grown on you. But this week, week 11, is the time to establish and consider your permanent title. And you can experiment with various formulations of your title. Do you want to have a title and a subtitle? Do you want to have one word? Do you want to have a sentence? So, so this is the week to confirm your book title. Now, if you're coming up with a unique name, like one of my books, I had a unique name, um, related to Dr. Think and Shine. So I had the, the name Dr. Think and Shine trademarked. You might want to consider if you have an original name to get it trademarked. Okay. This week is also critical for you to decide what your byline is going to be. The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. Everybody knows Dr. Seuss. So Dr. Seuss didn't go and write a book one week saying by Steve Seuss the next week by Dr. John Seuss, the next week by Dr. John Theophilus Seuss. No, it was just Dr. Seuss. So this week, as you decide on your book, confirm your book title, decide on trademarks and take action on them. If you want to do trademarks, can consult, uh, get legal um, consultation. This book doesn't, does not offer legal advice. So when I tell you to get something in writing about your photographer's trade, um, credits and the legal agreements with your photographer or getting your trademark. I'm not offering legal advice. I'm just offering suggestions. So consider your trademarks and then create a byline and determine the consistent use for your name. It's very important. That's something I did not do early on. Um, you need to decide on an author name or a stage name or a public name like Whoopi Goldberg. That's her public name. I don't even know what her real name is, but that's the name she decided on. So if she wrote a book, I'm sure it would be by Whoopi Goldberg. So um, decide on your title and your name, and you're on your way to greatness. So this is week 11. Thanks for joining. If you're new, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be informed every time a new upload comes on Thursdays. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, authors, ghost writers, editors, and just great book writers in general, let's make it a great day. Boost.